Hey guys, right over here we have the 2021 Nissan Titan SV, which comes at a price point of $32,477. Not only that, it has an odometer reading of 11,913 miles, rear wheel drive, 5.6 liter, 8 cylinder engine. This thing has a massive engine with a 9 speed automatic transmission. And with that, let's actually check out some of the specs and the MSRP on this vehicle real quick. When it comes up to the SR MSRP, it's around $40,000, so that's going to be great to see. With that as well, you get 400 horsepower, plenty of horsepower to tow big things. In addition to that, a five-year, 100,000-mile basic factory warranty. So this thing has about another year left, so you're going to be getting that. And with that 11,000 miles, somewhere around there, you're going to still continue to have a solid warranty for a pretty long while. In addition to all that, we also do not have city sales tax here, so that is a benefit. And let's actually check out the front of this vehicle. So you're going to get a solid looking grill, good looking headlights, alloy wheels down there. You're going to get those step up bars over there, keyless center for the driver and passenger. Going to the side, you get a decent sized truck bed, Titan and step up right, right up here. Let's actually check this out. So we just push down with our foot, things comes down and you can just get into the truck see whatever's in the bed, so on and so forth. Or you can just go right over here, open this up, and there you have it. So you're gonna be getting an AC input right over there to the left. You're also gonna get rubber floor mats. Let's actually put this thing right back up. You're gonna get a nice towing package down over there. And if you can see that just a little bit, there's a spare tire underneath, so that's good to see. Going on to the interior of this vehicle, let's actually use the keyless entry. So you're going to be checking out the rear you're gonna get a lot of good space you're gonna get those cloth seating so that's gonna look nice in addition to that you can fold those things down over there you can actually open this up that's a separate window and you're going to be getting two usb ports down over there 12 volt port and an ac input with rear ventilation and cup holders on the top so really nice on that end you're gonna get power adjustable seating going inside a leather wrap steering wheel let's actually turn this baby on you're gonna get a, a really solid digital cluster system up over here. You're gonna have your shifter. Let's turn this down. Let's close this. There we go. Center console, you're gonna be getting some good space down there as well, that's awesome. Cup holders, you're gonna be also getting some storage down over here. Heated seats, as well as USB-C and USB ports. You're gonna get your um, sensors, traction control, you can actually check out your camera, so on and so forth. That's, you got some really solid buttons right over there. With that, you get your AC, your good looking infotainment display that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you have that. And as we go up over here, you're gonna have your rear view mirror with three garage door openers, your sunglasses holder, and all these buttons to control lights, the SOS button, and that window that I was talking about earlier. Actually, flip that. Yeah, you can control that. It's really, really nice. Something else I really want to point out as we're continuing to go through here on the digital cluster system, you actually have a speed limit warning sign. I know that's like really, really nice. I really appreciate cars that have that and uh, rear collision warning or basically just rear assist. So that's awesome. Blind spot assist. But yeah, if you guys want to learn more about this vehicle, come on down to this weird car company to learn more.